All right guys, Tony here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to do a, a instructional, just a, a demonstration video. So I, this is strictly demonstration. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate um, how I pick my bike up when I drop it. So, you know, let's say I'm following a, a forest road and I come to a dead end like this and it's like, okay, I gotta turn around and I'm turning around the bike and I lose my balance and I drop the bike. So I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I've just dropped the bike. So I'm just gonna demonstrate uh, how I do that. All right, so I have, I'm fully loaded, full, full trailer, water, panniers, top box. The only thing I don't have is my little duffel back here where I keep uh, an extra jacket. Um, so, you know, she's loaded down, she's heavy full tank the whole nine yards so this right here is my um, tools and my rescue so I keep that right back here we'll take a look at it so this has everything I need to um, to work on the bike and also you know I have a spare tube for the trailer and I have you know whatever I need tool wise and so on all right, so we'll take a look. So here's my rope. You gotta have at least a 50 foot rope because you know, you don't know where a tree is gonna be, you know, or even one of these little bushes and stuff, you could use a rock or whatever. So you need that. This is my tool roll. You don't need that for the rescue. That's just what I carry. Extra tube for the trailer, some more tools. It's the sockets. Um, and then this is you know, the essential. So these you use either on the bike or you use around a tree. So I could either use one of these and I have some orange ones, some smaller ones on the bike, depending on how the bike's sitting. So this, or, or this can go around the tree or whatever. So you need these. I get this all on Amazon. So then here's my kit. So this kit, I bought this off a guy on the internet and, you know, he's claiming how it's, you know, rescuing, you know, 690s and, and or 960s, KTM, whatever. Not, not full on BMWs and Africa Twins and stuff. So I figured, okay, I'll get that. So I tried it with just the kit. So the kit didn't come with these two guys right here. These I got off Amazon. The kit just came with... If you can see, just these two little ones right here. And this is all rescue, um, you know, climbing, rock climbing, rescue gear. All right. So here's the orange one. So what I do is I put the orange one on because there's a certain direction. So the, the, the one that's attached here is the one that wants to go to the tree. And then the other one goes to the, to the bike. So what I start doing is... I'll go ahead and take this one off because we know which one is going to the the one with your capture is going to be the one that you're going to have um, closest to the tree rock stake so I do have a I didn't bring it this time I was just in a rush to get to get out, out the door and, and get over here um, it's a two foot concrete stake used for forms and I could pound that, let's say there was an area over there and I didn't have room to reach a tree over there. You know, if the bike falls um, towards me and I'm in the middle of that, I can reach one of these trees. I could probably reach over there, but let's just say you're somewhere where you can't reach. That's where that concrete stake and I could just go take one of those rocks. I do have a hatchet hammer. I could take one of those rocks and I could pound that stake in as good as I can and, and go from there. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up and um, and then we'll, we'll be right back. All right, so I'm all set up. You can see I have the two straps attached. Now this is in reverse order. So this is gonna be a controlled drop. We're not just going to drop the bike and, and do one of those YouTube thingies where you just drop the bike and, you know, that's just too risky. There's no need to just drop the bike. So you see I got the two straps on. This also works too, if you need to put the bike down because you need to get underneath, you need to take something or do something, 
this works really good for that. You could also use this um, uh, to hoist the front end up off the bike. So you can be, you know, in an area where you can get a branch. You can hoist, hoist the front end up off the bike, off the ground, if you need to do some work with the forks or something like that too. So it, it really has a lot of use. So we're going to do a controlled layover. We'll get a close up on how all this works here in a minute. So we're going to take this and we're going to put this over on that side because that's so let's go ahead and get the bike over a little bit now here we're at the tipping point and and i can bring this up and see now i have complete control of the bike so put the kickstand up make sure our rope is out of the way we don't want to want it coming back on us so here's your 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 capture so you just slide this up and it'll come down just slide it up and it'll come down Okay, let's double check. We're good. We're good. So now the bike is, is leaning on its uh, side here. All right, so again, this will be a controlled drop. It's going to want to skid around a little bit. I do have the uh, e-brake on. So we'll just slowly take her down. So we're just letting her out just a little bit. So for a controlled drop, if you're by yourself, and even if you needed to be in a position like this, you can do this safely. So again, we're just, I'm going to keep tension on here in case I need to do something. Right? And we're just going to let it come down. Slowly. So we'll go ahead and let her down a little bit more. So all we're doing is... We're going to put tension and then release. A little bit of tension and release. Tension and release. And she's almost there. Yeah, okay, I can feel it on the boxes. She's settling in. So let's take a look. You can see we got this in with the straps. We got the two pulley system. This this pulley system right here, this one right here would have been hooked up here. And this this one right here would have been hooked up here. So by adding this, you're going to a 10 to 1. So, you know, now it's time to pick up the bike and, and we'll demonstrate that. So there's two ways you can do it. So you can you can work from it from over here. But what I like to do, and I'll just wrap it around my waist like this. And then I'll just, I'll give it a pull and let it catch. I'm gonna take up some more slack, just using my legs, driving, let up the slack. It takes about 10 minutes max to get this all set up. So I'm just driving with my legs, not using my back, not using my arms. The only thing I'm doing with my arms is just feeding right here. So again, just walk it with your legs. All right, go for the last pull. It's getting easier and easier. Now you don't want to, you don't want to just let it go and have it drop on you on the other side. So, so now I've moved over to this side, and because it's, I'm going to go ahead and put the kickstand down, and now I'm just going to pull it up, nice and easy, almost to the point. So one thing you want to be careful is that you don't get it, you you don't have too much, um, not enough slack for for everything to work. Onto its kickstand, fairly easy. So there you go. Bike is lifted. You can get everything you need off Amazon. I spent $150 for the blue kit, which is the blue rope and the two little blue hinge um, pulleys, and I got all the other ones 
off of uh, Amazon, Ropes, Home Depot, everything you need to lift the bike. So I hope that uh, it gives me confidence because I know if I drop the bike, I can get it up eventually. I can pull it out of a ditch. I can pull it, do whatever I need to do with the bike with this 10 to one system. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios. And we're out in the middle of nowhere here and I lost my balance and I dropped my bike, you know, I'm, you know, in a forest road situation and there she is. So she's laying over on her side and now I got to get her up.